Alang lahat at hindi na ako makapaghintay na makilala ang kultura ng Indonesia. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> okay, please, the editor, can you translate it all of the words that coming from Estel? Because the only limitation is coming from you. So, let's go join the class. One, two. Semuanya balik lagi dengan aku Rafli di bilik Marco ya Dan dalam kesempatan kali ini kita bakalan masukin episode yang spesial banget Setelah, sudah lama nih gak diosin sama Rafli Dan hari ini Rafli udah kedatangan dua orang Yang kebetulan mereka international student They're coming from Indonesia And let's invite our guest for today's episode Please welcome our guest for today's episode Come on, come on Oke okay. So, um, maybe you can introduce all of yourself to in front of camera to all the viewers in this video. Maybe start from you. All right. Okay. So, hello everyone. My name is Hani, and I am from the National University of Malaysia from Kuala Lumpur, and I am an occupational therapy major, which is like sisters and brothers with physiotherapy program. Wow. And this is my second time returning to Indonesia under the UMAT program. Oh. Yep. Also in the UMAT programs. Yes, that's right. Ooh. Yeah, this is my second time. I enjoyed my first time, so I wanted to, you know, come again and explore different parts of Indonesia. Okay, yes. I already want to ask something. Okay, but it's but, still in the beginning <laughs> of right. the video, so maybe let's move on to our next guest. Okay, so hello everyone. I am Maria Estelle Antoinette Baflor from the Philippines. You can simply call me Estelle, and I'm in my second year of Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. I also work as the editor-in-chief of our school paper called mm. The Hillside Echo. So it is my first time going abroad and going here in Indonesia uh, for UMAP. So I'm really excited to learn about the culture of people since uh, it's my first time going out mm -hmm. of, our, of my country. So, um, so far I'm having fun. Okay, wow, that's really cool. Thank yeah. you so much for coming here and it's yeah. really uh enjoy for us to welcome all of you here and but since everyone here is not coming from indonesia so me and also all the crews here mm -hmm. maybe can you introduce yourself with your own mother language it's ah, gonna be so much and all so right cool. okay okay all right okay so i'll start first okay nama saya hani mm -hmm. dan saya merupakan pelajar dari malaysia dan saya percaya bahasa saya juga hampir-hampir sama dengan bahasa Indonesia. Jadi yeah, sangatlah uh, mudah untuk saya memahami bahasa Indonesia dan mungkin untuk uh, kalian di Indonesia juga untuk memahami diri saya sendiri. Oh. Ya, jadi uh, saya merupakan mahasiswa tahun akhir uh, dalam pengajian terapi cara kerja dari Universiti Kebangsaan Malaysia. Oh, that's yeah. really good. Next your turn. Okay, so magandang umaga, magandang hapon, magandang gabi sa lahat ng nanonood sa ating podcast ngayong araw. Ako si Maria Estelle Antoinette Baflor. Pwede pa, ngunit pwede niyo kong tawagin na Estelle. So ako ay nag-aaral sa Philomer Christian University sa Capiz, Philippines. At um, ako, uh, ang aking kurso ay Bachelor of Science in Information Technology. Uh, ikinagagalak ko kayong makilalang lahat at hindi na ako makapaghintay na makilala ang kultura ng Indonesia. Wow, that's really good. <laughs> okay, please, the editor, can you translate it all of the words that coming from Estel? I know you can do better this job, guys. Okay, please do it. Okay, it's gonna be uh, so much question that will come in from me, for all of you. And I already heard so much about UMAP from all of you, but I still not what is UMAP actually is. Uh, maybe can you give me some quick overview? What is UMAP is gonna be doing here in Indonesia? Or is there any uh, like a goals that you're coming uh, with this UMAP? Yeah, everything that you know about UMAP, maybe all of the viewers gonna be having like a at least some general overview about it all right so maybe i'll go first yeah so um since this is my second time joining the umap program 
Um, UMAP is basically an organization mm -hmm. that stands for University Mobility Asia Pacific. So it consists of um, universities from the Asia Pacific region mm -hmm. and focuses on achieving um, various different goals. And for our discovery camp specifically, it is to enhance awareness in terms of the sustainable developmental goals and also how um, in the context of Indonesia, how Indonesia takes the effort to achieve those goals. So as this um, program uh, suggests itself, it brings together um, uh, students and participants from various um, universities and also countries uh, in order for us to exchange what kind of efforts are taken by our respective countries as well. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I think so. I can agree with what Tani said. So literally, UMAP is uh, an eye opener for like international students to explore more about a certain country and their culture, and maybe break stereotypes from what they're thinking about um, what is typically known to the world. So this uh, this program is actually. Uh, more on the discussion, more on uh, the practical application of the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. So um, it is literally an eye opener for the um, students and um, not only in, the, in Asia, but we have also students from Canada, from Jamaica. There are a lot, uh, I think uh, there, this is the uh, main platform to explore and know more about the SDGs of certain countries and what we're trying to do to save the world. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yep. And how many countries that are already joining with the UMAP so far? Um, I'm not sure about the total number of universities, yeah. but uh, in terms of the country as of now, we have Indonesia, okay. we have Taiwan, we have China, we have Hong Kong, Malaysia, um, Philippines. Philippines and also several other countries like Singapore as well. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so the main idea is I would say that you also getting like a exchanging intercultural. Yes, yeah. absolutely. For all of your country, mm -hmm. for example. Yeah. Here. yeah. And this year, I believe that it's gonna, there is going to be some, I would say like a, how do you say like a, um, judo, like a, no, no, tema, theme, like a oh, theme. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. Is there any theme for this year's uh, yeah. event? Um, yes. It's the Globe, uh, mm -hmm. Global yeah. Exchange, uh, Discovery Indonesia. Yes. Okay, mm. Discovering yeah. Indonesia. So yes. Indonesia is going to be host for yes. this yeah. year. Yes, that's right. Yeah. That's right. And how many months that you're going to be staying here or how many weeks that you're going to be staying here in the UMAP programs? Um, as of now, the programs have been held for around two weeks. Okay. So in total, um, for this um, session, we have been staying in Surabaya for five, day, uh, five days mm -hmm. and the rest of the days we will be in Pekanbaru. Oh. Yeah. Yes, but some of the students actually went to Makassar, Semarang as well as Surabaya and they continued yeah. the program there. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so they, I would say like a study day for like a, several months? Uh, it's um, for two weeks only. Oh, yeah. Also two weeks yeah. as well, okay. Mm -hmm. And how many universities that becoming host in Indonesia right now? Um, the host for now in total is four, four of us, four, uh, four, four of them. Yeah. yeah. So it's ITS, um, Surabaya, mm -hmm. uh, UER yeah. in yeah. Uh, Pekanbaru, and then for Semarang it's mm -hmm. Institute Nobel. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And Makassar. That's Mak Makassar. Uh, Makassar. Okay. Yeah. And Nobel for Semarang Makassar. is Universitas Semarang. Semarang. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's right. Mm. So, uh, since you already coming to uh, Surabaya like uh, last week, how mm -hmm. much you already get there? What What's the main overview that you will see about Indonesia? I mean, like, uh, uh, you already you just coming here in mm -hmm. Uir, seen in Pekanbaru as mm -hmm. well. It's several days. I would say it's too soon to judge something about mm -hmm. it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah. That's right. Still, some days to go. Uh, it's until uh, what day? Until Friday. Until Friday. Friday. Yes. Okay, so still so much time for you to explore about Pekanbaru. Yeah. But what you already get from Surabaya? Okay, maybe you wanna go first. Okay, so in Surabaya, um, I think the program that uh, that really uh, touched my heart, what I thought it was really heartwarming, because mm -hmm. we visited like uh, SMP, like junior high school yep. students. Mm -hmm. And they were really welcoming. They even wore traditional costumes. Yeah. They had the traditional dances. They even like just by the entrance, they were already offering us their um, uh, their uh, products. There, mm -hmm. they were giving us like um, I think it was juice like and jamu. ice cream. Yeah, yeah. and 
the program really lasted for like a very long it was like a whole day like half of a, a half of a day they, so i can say that um so far my experience in surabaya was great because people were really accommodating they would really ask like oh what do you need do yeah. you need something do you want to do you want me to help you with yeah. this and mm-hmm. also um it was a time that i really was emerged with the culture because most uh just share my uh, experience because like most drivers there don't speak uh yeah, english, english. Yeah. so we really have to learn the basic ones yeah. basic ones so i think um it was a uh, it was an effective implementation of how of the theme this year of discovering indonesia because yeah. they already immersed us with like virus culture they already toured us for the whole span of the mm-hmm. trip so i can say that uh, so far um indonesia has been really warm for us and it has um ve- yeah accommodating to yeah. people yeah the, yeah. Spot, the hospital is really mm-hmm. great yes. mm-hmm. and about you i mean like I, we're, we're really close mm-hmm. i would say like Uh, we are in the same grassroot yeah. and really have a similarity in a lot of ways. Yes, exactly. But must be there is something that a bit different, different. from the country. Yep. Um, so personally, I guess for uh, Surabaya, I have been experiencing it twice, oh, actually. Okay. So um, the main thing about Surabaya that I really enjoy is about how well managed the city is in mm. a sense. Because um, as uh, across the time, apparently Surabaya has evolved in various different ways yeah. as well. So um, I believe I enjoyed the greenery, although it is pretty yeah. hot there. I, I yeah. do agree it's hot, but it's uh, it's it's a beautiful city. It is very nice, and the people there um, adapt and also like showcase their culture yeah. in a very big and also like a grand, grand. way. So mm. you can uh, experience and you can enjoy and enhance every single feeling that. You can feel through their cultures as well, and it was a really interesting thing about Surabaya is that we were able to engage in community-based programs as yeah. well. Yeah. So we engaged in a lot of um, community-based um, enterprises yeah. mm. and also like community schools. So we interacted with the people in Surabaya. So mm. it was a really really nice experience. Yes. Okay. Mm. Uh, speaking about being a uh, going abroad, I would say mm. uh, since I already going abroad as well. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say like you, you also mentioned it before. Uh, communicating is quite hard sometimes, yeah. <laughs> especially when someone not really speaking English really. Good. I would say yeah. they are not really good speakers yeah. in English. I would mm-hmm. say the same. Uh, but uh, there is a lot of people that much more uh, lack of capability. I would say yeah. mm-hmm. speaking good. They do understand. Mm-hmm. I believe yeah. they do understand. Yes. Yeah. But it's just mm-hmm. the terms of cannot speak it really well. Yes. Cannot express it mm-hmm. uh, quite well with everyone. So how? How do you think about it? And how do you think as a UMAP members now and mm. going to some countries and some areas that not really good speaking uh, mm. people? What do you say? Yeah. So I think that's a really good thing that we've immersed to that kind of people because we are trying to break what we uh, the stereotype of like we really have as humans. Mm-hmm. We are humans. We're sharing solidarity. So I think it's a great reminder yeah. for us to like think about that. Not everyone will understand you, mm-hmm. but we have to do like, um, of course, um, not most of us students mm-hmm. really have to um, speak in like, yeah. um, like good grammar yeah. and all that stuff. But I think it was more effective to like talk in like chunks of uh-huh. words yeah. to talk to like yes. the locals. So I think that's really great to immerse in the culture to through yeah. those common people than just big people. So yeah. I really appreciate it that Surabaya uh, it, I, and ITS were able to invite guests that were really in the in that certain agency. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I think. It was. It was. It was good. They weren't afraid to speak their language because um, there are a lot of instances that people would be embarrassed if they yeah. don't yeah. don't know how to speak mm-hmm. English. Yeah. But it was so great that they still preserve their culture in a way yeah. through language. Yep. I wouldn't agree more. Yeah. And mm-hmm. so, uh, for everyone, especially uh, we're student and everyone who watching this video, like uh, our friends already say that, yeah being able to speak is really great it's really good but it's not the matters about the grammar and everything that more practical about speaking the language 
uh, delivery is only the tools of communication, right? Yeah. So as long as your intentions uh, is receiving received by the people you want to communicate, mm-hmm. that's all. Yep. So mm-hmm. trying, trying, and trying for everyone here. Yeah? Okay, <laughs> let's go. So uh, since we are already talking so much about Indonesia as well, and also about Surabaya mm-hmm. and about you map. Um, there is something that I want to ask more. Mm-hmm. Like you already here for several days, I would say, mm-hmm. and still more days to go. Yeah. It's coming. What is your expectation to come into Pekanbaru before, okay. and what you already get here? All right. So in terms of Pekanbaru, uh, the first impression of Pekanbaru all the way through the journey to Pekanbaru yeah. is all the oil palm plantations. Yeah. That is like the first thing I noticed, <laughs> and it's so similar to Malaysia as well because along the highways you can see a lot of all uh, palm mm. oil plantations. So, um, in a sense, uh, that is something that I think I like because it's filled with nature. Yeah. But we also saw the parts where the roads are like mm-hmm. hilly, hilly and everything. So, it was a nice experience. It's an adventure, essentially. So, um, in terms of my expectations towards Pekanbaru and what I would like to have in Pekanbaru is I would like to interact more with the people of Pekanbaru and also to see how exactly sustainable they are and what are the efforts that they are doing in order to you know, progress themselves as a whole, as well as the Pekanbaru city in general. Mm -hmm. Yes. So I guess um, Pekanbaru has a lot more to offer to us to Mm -hmm. see because it is a small city which is filled with culture and a lot more to see, right? Of course. So yes, I'm looking forward to it. Yep. What about you, Esther? Uh, What I noticed about this uh, place is that it's really close to home. So there are things that reminded me of like things I see all also see in the Philippines, like oh. like the structure of the buildings mm-hmm. are like somehow similar, and the roads are somehow similar too. So I think that's a uh, that's also a great indication that I could compare and contrast yeah. the culture, mm-hmm. and I can agree with Hani that we need to like talk more to the people yes. mm-hmm. so that we can understand them more because I think that kind of com- uh, conversation is more effective than just talking right. In front of like a screen and then mm-hmm. saying that oh we do this we do that yes. how about the people yes. yeah so i think that's what's important for us to learn as mm-hmm. we go on and um i think i'm gonna expect more of conversations with the people yeah. because we really can uh, it is more effective to learn from the local themselves yeah yeah so that's why i'm expecting wow. yeah that's really really good yeah. one and uh, you know, like, uh, where it's not really big, um, but I would say that we are quite good university here in uh, Pekanbaru. Uh, we're expecting that you're going to be learn so much here in Pekanbaru mm-hmm. and also about a weird yep. uh, self. And uh, I would say that maybe to communicate with uh, weird students is going to be quite hard mm-hmm. since not so much people here speaking English. But like we already said, mm-hmm. it's only the matter of communication. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you have to try more. I would say that he is trying more like a bit hard, but it's okay, it's fine. It's the art of being abroad. Yeah, okay? yeah. that's right. Exactly. It's okay. Yeah. I can be the translator. Yeah, yeah. We actually we actually have the Malaysian translator for us. Like, well, yeah. We went somewhere and then they were the ones that we were doing oh, the this talking. Is a, yeah. yeah. <laughs> But it's, it's only you coming from Malaysia? Coming um, here? I have another three uh, friends who also come from Malaysia, yeah. And how many people that are coming here to Pekanbaru? Uh, in total, we had around 10 of okay. us, yeah, who come to uh, Pekanbaru. Yeah. But out of the 10, it's only four of us from Malaysia. Okay. Yes. Mm. So if everyone can split each, each lap. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like a one with three people. Yes. Like one with three people, so yep. it's fine. Yep. Okay, it's okay. Mm-hmm. So, and uh, what about people that are coming from another country uh, uh, besides yeah. from Philippines? So for the Philippines, we have four delegates from, uh-huh. from our university. Okay. So um, the other one went to another university, which is in Semarang. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's uh, the three of us here in Pakanbaru. Oh, oh, okay. So I, I'm not sure how many delegates are there in the Philippines, mm-hmm. but we have a lot of universities from Luzon, mm-hmm. from Visayas, and from Mindanao. So the three major island groups of the Philippines. Mm-hmm. Okay, one last big question I will say. Uh, what this program going to be impact you in the future? I mean, like, uh, every time uh, people come into some programs, they, they want to develop something. Mm-hmm. But can you make it much more precise? So I will, I will say like maybe in the future, 
uh, a lot of student from UI are gonna be also joining this program mm-hmm. so they can uh, know better mm-hmm. like uh, what they will get in the future or what they will expect to coming to their life after they come into this program. Mm-hmm. I guess um, the major concept or the core um, importance of this program is networking mm-hmm. because you network with people from mm-hmm. all over the world and also like I mean all over Asia Pacific mm-hmm. is essentially so you get to con- uh, connect with one another and discuss the similarities the differences and find out how to develop our own um, city as well back home yeah. and grow together and essentially it is also important for us to Uh, emphasize that UMAP is a program that highlights the SDGs. Yeah. So we do want to um, achieve and also contribute towards the achievement of those SDGs as well. So I guess by being here, we can we can learn about the implementations of SDGs in Pekanbaru as, as well as Surabaya, as well as maybe perhaps we can also provide solutions and ideas yeah. and compare and contrast what kind of efforts are taken by our respective countries as well. What about you, Esma? Okay, so us in the Philippines, we are still a developing country, right? Yeah. So I think this program will also help me to like um, echo everything that I've learned from other countries because I think we can learn a lot more starting mm-hmm. from our li- uh, from our local governments from mm-hmm. s- from our university. So I think it was it is all in our experience that we could learn other people's cur- culture and uh, there are a lot of similarities mm-hmm. and. By that similarity, maybe we can develop a better thing so that we our locals could adapt to that SDG. So mm-hmm. I think um, because of this uh, this program, SDGs are going to be more uh, open mm-hmm. to the students in our university okay. because like um, it's not all the time that you get this opportunity. Yes. Yes. So, so that is important for us to grab this yep. mm-hmm. and then share what yep. we learn, yep. uh, even though in, it's the simplest thing. We start from the small and then mm-hmm. all throughout we're, we'll grow into something that's, that's uh, innovative. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes change not coming twice through your life. So yeah. yeah. If you can get or you can get it, so you have to grab it. Yes. Like yeah. you said before. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, for last moment before we close this uh videos, uh, maybe can you uh, give some motivation, especially mm-hmm. from for with student or mm-hmm. Indonesian student that maybe in the future can join this program, mm-hmm. or you can promote this program, or what you can say to the viewers. Is that is all yours now? All right. Okay. Which one? Which one? Which one? Which camera? Which one? Which one? This one. Oh, this one. Okay. All right. So I guess um, to all your students, I know sometimes language may be something that you are afraid of when it comes to joining international programs. But trust me, UMAP is a great, great, great platform for you to join because usually they have translators and also people who would be there to help and also guide you throughout the program. So it is a platform for you to learn a lot as well as to share a lot and also showcase whatever that you want to um, highlight about your own culture or your own universities as well. So take the opportunity. Uh, it is something that can you can only get when you are a student because I'm in my final semester. I can only use my <laughs> student card until now. So yes, just grab the opportunity. There's no harm in trying. You can um, explore and also network and also understand um, cultures from various different world uh, p- parts of the world. Yes. Okay, so for the students that are watching this, I hope that you will continue to grow. Uh, don't limit yourself with only here. Mm-hmm. Um, um, maybe uh, grow your network. Uh, know a lot of people because that is uh, like the beauty of human beings. We'll, it, we'll be able to know people, exchange um, what we do as, as our, our culture and maybe learn more of what we can do for the world to save it. Mm-hmm. So um, be, make an initiative. So start from, be, uh, you can start from being small and from okay. there, let's work it out as, a, as one. So UMAP is a great platform for you to um, probably um, practice and uh, suggest an implementation starting from yourself. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. Thank you so much. And with all the words, thank you so much, guys. Uh, I do really admiring what the started coming from all of you. It's really, really great. It's really, really cool. Uh, uh, I do really hope that everyone who watching this video can 
can inspire get inspired from from you maybe in the future they will joining also the umap or mm -hmm. all the program that's coming in OER. we have a lot of programs exchange programs or scholarship you can take whatever you want because the only limitation is coming from you so let's go join to universitas islam riau Sekali lagi teman-teman semua, terima kasih sudah nonton video ini. Thank you so much buat kalian semua. Thank you so much for Honey and also Estelle that already coming to this video and share the thought about UMAP, about their experience that coming to Indonesia and also uh, their uh, expectation and everything. And buat teman-teman semua, jangan lupa like video ini, comment dan juga subscribe. Dan kita berjumpa lagi di Bilik Marpoyan episode selanjutnya. Wang yang kalimutan temutok sebilik Marpoyan. Pada channel UI Official. See you. See you.